And now we're going to go ahead and talk about Miss Ra Ali, Hennessy, and Cardi B. All right. So y'all know Cardi B has pretty much been getting into it with the different ladies that's been a part of Queen Mix. Okay. Queen Mix is the remix or whatever Miss Nicki Minaj did with a few ladies. Okay. First it was Akbar. Then it was JT, and then now, you know, uh, it was Malibu Mitch. But in the midst of, you know, Cardi B going and back and forth with one of the artists, we ended up seeing Ra Ali. Okay, first of all, before we get into Ra, we ended up seeing Hennessy make a post on her IG page talking about how much she loves her name. And it seems like she was coming for Ms. Ra Ali because obviously Ra said some things about not liking Hennessy's name. Now, my question is, uh, where did Ms. Ra Ali say some things? Like, where did that come from? Um, I am a bit confused like because it seemed like Hennessy was make was responding to something Ra Ali said but we didn't see anything on Twitter we didn't see anything on her Instagram we didn't see anything over on her um it's on site okay so we didn't really know where you know or what Hennessy was responding to but for me it was definitely given she responded to something but when it's on site posted it they made it seem as though Hennessy is just running off at the mouth just out of nowhere or whatever and I'm just like that's not what's happening like the girl is responding to something so y'all need to post all the facts instead of some of the facts like what what is she responding to so we see that actually Ra Ali ended up coming out speaking on Cardi B and Miss um Hennessy or whatever she has some things to say and I am going to play that audio for you guys but after they played the audio what I realized because I believe she was in like a clubhouse room I believe that could have been exactly where Ross started to first speak on Hennessy and Hennessy got wind of it which is why she put the things up in her story about Ra Ali right so then here we are with the response from Ra Ali who's trying to act like oh my god woe is me who me i don't even understand where these girls are coming you know from with this beef with me and all this extra fake ass stuff that she does just like she did with sky a black ink crew but we'll get into that shortly i want to actually go ahead and just play for you guys what it is that miss Ra um had to say so let us go ahead and switch screens and get into that okay <laughs> Um, but before doing so, I want to say this, this is exhausting. It is exhausting. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. I'm a woman, but more importantly, I'm a businesswoman. And I don't say that because I think it sounds cute. You know, I'm not sure. I'm personally not sure how any woman that actually is being a wife, being a mom, running a business, um, has time or the availability to dedicate the insane amount of hours that has been given on the internet throwing shots I, I don't understand it it requires a tremendous amount of energy and it has no return on the investment i i am tired of talking about cardi b i am tired of um, speaking about anything associated with her, bullet points, um, her sister Hennessy, bullet points, her friend Star Brim, bullet points, um, anyone associated, the, the list. You know, I've personally not um, said anything from my mouth on a public platform in close to a year and a half, yet they continue to speak to me. I, I, I can't understand for the life of me, why do you keep talking to me? And this is the, this is the thing. Onside is a business, it's a blog, and you will never, you understand, your bitches will never stop us from doing what it is that we have to do, which is let the people know what's going on in the entertainment industry. You're not going to stop that, right? But the fighting and the subliminals and the nonsense on the internet when you bitches don't want to fight in real life is crazy. It is crazy. It is insane. You're not going to get a reaction out of me that doesn't equate to me getting a check. You're not going to get subliminal tweets from me. You're not going to get me going live and talking in the dark. You see how I got you here? Do you see how I got you here? You see how you're listening from where you are? Oh, and you know what that means. That felt like it needed a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and Miller's gonna, gonna, gonna recap. 
But it just without you know without the journalistic angle, it has to be said. Stop it. Cardi has been making subliminal. She has been doing things in the forefront of the industry, behind the industry. She's been doing things nonstop for so long. It it, it to me. My take on it is this. We all know it has nothing to do with, you know, an opinion. We all understand and know that Nikki is the queen of rap. We understand that she is a living legend. We all know that, right? The same people who are up and coming right now will say that she has paved the way for them. Will say, um, you know, that, that, that she was their idol. How do you go from admiration for a person to hating them for absolutely no reason other than the fact that people have begun to tell you that you're better or you're greater. Where is this obsession and this 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 anger coming from? I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't I don't know, but I, I know it and it needs to stop because it's tired. Unless bitches want to fight. How long is this going to continue? I mean when I scroll back, Millie, I scroll back on my page to um, my public service announcement that was, I think it was mm-hmm. 2018 or 2019. It's about to be 2023. The years ago. Years ago. All right, y'all. Y'all just heard what Miss uh, Ra Ali had to say. So we are definitely about to chit chat real quick about some things that Ra Ali had to say when she did this. Okay. Um, well, first things first. All right. She says she doesn't understand why Cardi has so much time. Right. I think a lot of people have been wondering that. Like, Cardi, how you got so much time to interact with these people? And I feel like she got about the same amount of time as Nicki Minaj has. Okay. When she goes over to her queen radio and do all these rants and stuff and also has time to change her profile pics and her AVIs or whatever you want to call it and tweet out certain things or whatever. So they both on the same type of time. It's just interesting that you don't understand why Cardi got so much time when your girl do the same. Um, she also said that she's tired of speaking of or speaking on Cardi. Understand it, girl. I think we all are tired of speaking on the rapper girls. But if you feel that way, then stop posting her. The shade room has not. I mean, they ain't got no problem. They stop posting her. You feel what I'm saying? So if you feel that way, then just stop posting. Oh, girl, do you ain't got to worry about speaking up her, speaking on her or nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, girl, you make sure you find something about Cardi every single day, which is why I think that you are her biggest fan. That's one. Um, what else? She says that um, she doesn't understand why why Cardi Nim keeps talking to her. First of all, I really seem like Hennessy is the one that keeps her foot on your damn neck. If you ask me, okay? But the more you post and you say slick things and you make sure that you don't put it over there on your IG page or your Twitter page so people don't know where to really go to find out so it can look like these girls are just coming at you for no reason. The more you do that and they get wind of it, they're going to keep talking about it. You feel what I'm saying? So let's not act like you're Miss Innocent here. All right? Now, uh, Ra also accused me the way that she likes to sit up there and talk real soft like i don't understand for the life of me that's what raw do when she get like real manipulative you know and i, I noticed that just like when she got ready to fight um sky like oh you, you came in you came here with, with your street clothes on you came here with your like that's the little innocent she, that she do before she got her ass whooped by sky you know what i'm saying which is just so funny and i used to love me some raw when she was on television you know she used to definitely call Can- yandy's ass out and y'all know i ain't really been crazy about Yandy in the um in some of the years of seeing her on Love and Hip Hop. So I definitely was with Ra when Ra was on her head topping some others, okay? But the way she switched up on Remy and stuff, I was kind of giving her the side eye, you know, from that moment, you know, moving forward. But anyway, she does this little soft look. Yeah, I cannot understand. Like, it's crazy to me. I don't want to hear nobody talking about, well, she's talking low because her baby in the room. <laughs> like, girl, no, but then why are you talking with your baby in the room? You know, but that's something that she always does. Okay. Um, what else did I want to say? Uh, I do agree with her on this now. Miss Girl say, listen, you're not gonna get a reaction out of me without uh it getting to a check, okay? Without it equating to a check, you're not gonna get no reaction out of me, right? Unless I'm getting paid. I I, I like that thought. I think a lot of the rap girlies, you know, should take that into consideration. You're not gonna get out of me if it does not equate to me getting a check. I'm with raw on that right there all day so y'all need to think about it now i don't know 
when y'all be out, because I be really do be wondering, when y'all be out here talking to stuff that y'all talk on Twitter and stuff, does it drive sales? Does it make a person go to your website and buy some stuff? Because it probably does. I don't know. Um, and I would want to assume possibly the way these people pay so much to be in the um, on the blogs all day, every day, keeping their names in people's mouths, because it must equate to some type of check, because I'm just confused. All right. So I'm definitely with her on that like when y'all be out here doing all that it's like does it make people go and buy your your music listen to your music stream your stuff go watch your videos like what does it do maybe it does but you know anyway girl then she says that she asked the question of how do you have admiration for a person how do you go from having admiration for a person to hating them and i'm a confused because i feel like that question should start with your girl Nicki minaj considering the fact that she had all this admiration for lil kim and then they got to a place where they couldn't stand each other so it's giving um karma is giving history repeating itself a bit so maybe if you start there you could you know it'll help you with some of the answers that you're seeking um what else uh she also was wondering like how long is it going to continue great question i think that it's going to continue as long as nikki and cardi are at odds and as long as the fans continue to hype up bullshit understand okay as long as they continue to hype up the bs for the ladies to go at it that's how long the bullshit is going to continue all right but those are my thoughts about it you know Miss Raw decided to share her little thoughts or whatever. Then she put up a post over there on its own site where she pretty much admitted to being a biased ass blog. Is she gonna do what she wanna do? And y'all can feel away all y'all wanna feel away. But basically, she don't like Cardi, so she's gonna continue to report as she does. You know what I'm saying? On Cardi twisting things when she uses her titles and stuff. And it's a few of y'all out here like that. And I think that's just what what kills me. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's just how y'all be twisting the titles of stuff, especially for the people that do not and never like to read the context clues. They just go off of whatever the title is. And I think that's really unfair to not just Cardi, but to Nikki, too, when y'all do that shit and not just put like the full like truth out there. You know, you guys create certain narratives so, so that people can continue to go up against either of these ladies. And I think that's whack ultimately. But y'all going to do what y'all do anyway, because the most salacious headline is what's going to bring you guys a coin. But either way, good luck. Let's go ahead and move on. OK, who do I have next dealing with Miss Cardi? OK, her and Malibu Mitch. So Malibu Mitch had been in the hospital. OK, she was getting her. Uh, I think she was having surgery of some sort on her appendix. OK, so she was having some work done on her body and she wasn't really doing a whole lot of tweeting and stuff like that. I don't know if she made any videos or done anything in promotion of Queen Mix, but, you know, <clears throat> maybe she couldn't because, of course, like I said, she had been in the hospital. OK, now, as soon as she gets out the hospital, Miss Girl wasn't even out a full 24 hours. By the time she made it to her house, she decided to start responding to slick ass comments on social media as it pertains to Cardi, okay? So people start saying certain things to her and they, they like, girl, get in line because Cardi coming for all the queen mixed ladies. And I'm like, is it really her coming for them? Or is it them coming for her? Now I do feel like she came for JT. All right. With the whole laptop, lap dog thing situation. OK, um, especially when you got access to JT and you could talk to her on the phone, whatever the case is. I do feel like Cardi did come for JT. But y'all leave y'all thoughts on that down in the comments. Now, when it came to Miss Akbar, I feel like Miss Akbar came for Cardi. Right. So then if you ask me with the Malibu Mitch situation, I feel like Malibu Mitch is coming for Cardi because girl, you just got out, got out the hospital and you made it your duty to respond to such messages that mentions Cardi. Cardi, you ain't no better because you turned around and you over there retweeting it. You're retweeting what your people are saying in response to Malibu Mitch. So this is how all of the BSB started. So it's like I hate that you even responded to her because you already know the people from the make it seem like you coming for this lady. You know what I'm saying? When this lady was the one that just got out the hospital and she the one responded to comments as it pertains to you coming for all of the ladies or whatever then she goes from that conversation to want to talk about throwing hands and fighting and it's like ma'am can you heal first can you heal first you know what i'm saying y'all be quick to claim i'm from i'm from the bronx i'm from this right here i'm from that right there girl. i'm this where i'm from this a girl as if the bronx gonna help you when you get your ass like what south from queens as if queens is really the whole state for the stand up after you get your ass whooped i'm from chicago as if chicago gonna stand up and help you after you get your ass whooped or your ass clapped 
Like, cool it down, okay? Y'all be out here loving hoods and cities that don't be loving you back, okay? Yikes, we hate to hear it. We hate to see it. So the ladies, as I said, started to go back and forth on social media, sharing some things, okay? Having some stuff to say. You see over here, you got Cardi with her, her retweets, and then you got Malibu Mitch with her slick stuff that she's saying as well, girl. So, I mean, I'm not understanding this. Like, girl, what are y'all doing? Like, I heard, um, I believe it was Armand. He said, girl, was the Nicki Minaj clout not enough? <laughs> Was the Nicki Minaj clout not enough that y'all over here bothering this lady Cardi? And Cardi, what's going on with you that you feel so bothered to even respond to them or even repost or retweet what they got going on? And I just don't be understanding all the time why you be coming for some of these ladies that I understand they come for you. I do get that. But I feel like you have so much success with where you are with just one damn album and a few, a few singles that, girl, I'm not going to argue with y'all. Like, I would be on some plies. You want to argue. You mad. I'm not finna argue with you. I'm getting coy. Y'all still mad. I only dropped one album and still got more money than a ton of y'all. What? I dropped a sprinkle of singles and got a coin. I'm still endorsed. Why? I'm not finna argue with you. Okay? You need to sit around sometimes and just look at, you know, some of the blessings that you do got. Like, why are you even assisting these people with additional clout? Like, y'all got enough with Nikki. Your song is doing great. Y'all in the top 10 on the uh, Billboard 100. So just do your thing, ma'am. Just do your thing, girl. You ain't got to step off your chair, y'all, in response to everybody. And I think the same thing goes uh, for Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's come for some people. She's come for, for some YouTubers and stuff. You know, not even just the woman that she's suing um, Nosy Ho, but she's come for some other folks. And it's like, girl, I'm not finna argue with you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, why? Why are we doing this? Girl, you got too much money. We'll be doing this, okay? So anyway, girl, <clears throat> that's what's going on. So the ladies started to go back and forth with each other. So then Cardi messy at got over there onto the Instagram talking about some hashtag the Bronx or added her location on her story talking about some I'm around I was like ooh hoo, hoo, hoo. this is getting a little too much okay I don't want to see the ladies go out like the men do because the men be trying to really unalive somebody out here I don't want to see that let's keep it cute you got your little tweets let's cut the tweets out and let's do more writing in our songs you know and put out tracks because all the all the all the writing that y'all have done on Twitter Y'all could have put that in the song and had about four songs by now. You feel what I'm saying? Instead of doing all this back and forth on Twitter. You feel what I'm saying? Like, girl, let's cut it out. So, um, once she did that, Malibu Mitch got word. Talking about, I'm outside now. Where you at? Where you at? How you just say you're going to be outside, only stay for an hour and go? How do you expect somebody to wait on you for an hour? Girl, if you was talking all of that about what you're going to do and how you is, how you get down because you from the Bronx or whatever, ma'am. Okay? Then you should have been sitting already, Right? right but girl we know you just got out the hospital you said you didn't even have your fine clothes on you had to put them on girl whatever excuses you could come up with whatever excuses you could come up with then so i had to get over there you had to get over there i thought you was from the bronx so you should have really been around you should have already been there what is it really giving right so it's like y'all doing too much but when the people fronted cardi on it and said cardi what you think you doing like girl you was out here trying to fight this lady cardi said girl no i was not because somebody said cardi how you gonna sit up here and make a tweet a few weeks a few weeks ago talking about how you lost a lot of money and this and that and you've learned from your mistakes make better decisions but then you out here in the hood trying to get at this girl and cardi said girl don't put me in this honey i went to my auntie house trying to get me some stew Okay, I was trying to eat on me some stew. I go away from me with this. I don't know anybody. I ain't got nothing to do with that girl. Don't put me in this shit. But Cardi, you know what you was doing, ma'am. Okay, because I was saying the same thing. I said, now why the fuck will Cardi sit up here and say that she learned her lesson and all this other stuff, but she out there in the Bronx trying to throw hands. Girl, you rich. Okay? It's giving very much so all the way hood rich. Like, girl, you ain't got to come off your cherry out to throw tomatoes with these girls. They just glad to even be in a conversation with you. So it's like, I'm, calm down. Calm down, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's what what was uh 
what was going on okay the ladies was you know having a spill going back and forth neither one of them was right in the situation when it came to that if you ask me just because this girl is over here uh you know retweeting things and responding to people that's adding her as far as malibu malibu mitch and it has something to do with cardi once she ain't have to respond but if she wants to it's on her page she can cardi i do feel like you didn't even have to like retweet anything your fans were saying because people are just ready to put you in mess and it's crazy because you and nikki both be throwing these subliminals but who y'all really want to talk to is each other that's what y'all really y'all really want to all go with each other y'all really want to go at it with each other so girl i'm i'm i am a little tired okay i'm a little tired i want y'all to figure figure this out oh girl instead of adding all these other girls in the middle of it in the mix you know and it's crazy because cardi has been handling this one by one she's been eating them up <laughs> She's been eating them up one by one. And you know what's so funny is people always respond back, like, write a rap, write a rap, write a rap. It's like, y'all do know after a while, nobody really cares. It's like a person that's already big, you know, as far as heavy set or, or some people say fat, whatever y'all want to say. It's like continuing to insult them and their body, but that's their body. They lived in it all their life. It hasn't stopped them from getting anything that they want. And you say, that's why you fat. Okay, girl, tell me something else I don't know. Like, girl, and I still take your nigga. So what's going on? Like, <laughs> it, it's one of those things. Like, when you say it so much, it, it really don't affect nobody. Just like y'all be out here talking about Nikki's husband, saying that he's an SO, he's an SO, he's an SO. You think that lady give a damn? That's why she sat up there and buried him and had a baby with him. Like, that's not the reason why. But she don't care. She told y'all that a long time ago. So y'all gonna keep saying it. It's one of those things that's like, okay. And what else is going on? Check still long. Let's talk, okay? What else? So... But y'all fans, y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do anyway, girl, because that's just how y'all is, all right? I just want them to be a bit more wise about who they respond to, who they don't respond to. And um, if they got a beef with each other, just hop on a call. You know what I'm saying? Just just get it, just get in the booth or something. Or, you know, if y'all wanna do a diss track to each other on the same track, like, girl, figure it out. Figure it out, okay? Make it make a coin and make it make sense, all right? But as we're speaking on Cardi Girl, we're about to go ahead and switch over. And let me see here, because I wanted to talk about someone else here. Let me see if I have their their um their stuff here in my queue. Let me check. Let me check. Is this it? Okay. Yes, it is. All right. So let me one second. I want to see if I have that. Do I have these other people here? If not, I want to go ahead and get them added because we are going to talk about um, Tasha K and Cardi B. But give me one second here as I'm trying to see if I have the deets on. OK, there we go. I think these are it right here. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about Tasha K and Cardi B. OK, I want to pull up this article here because they have more details for me so that I can let you guys know. They're saying that Cardi B discovers that Tasha K only has $1,083 in her bank account. OK, now y'all know that Cardi B won a lawsuit against Tasha K earlier this year of close to $4 million. OK, um, she sued the uh, girl, the YouTuber is what I'll say, honey, or the blogger, whatever. Y'all, I hate saying blogger because it's not like the woman has a, a damn website where she's writing actual articles and stuff. But anyway, Anyway, she's suing Tasha K um, for a defamation of character over a series of things that took place um, for quite a few years. All right. So what they're saying is that Cardi attempted to collect on that three million dollars that was owed to her. And they also said, which was interesting, because I believe Jason Lee put this out. Um, one of the um, blogs put it out saying that Tasha K, once Cardi B was trying to receive the money from her, Tasha K ran to the courts trying to put a halt on that, trying to stop that to prevent Cardi from pulling out whatever money. Well, it seems like Cardi B has finally gotten access to uh, Tasha K's uh, bank account. At least they're saying for Kibi Studios, all right? They're saying according to court documents obtained by Radar Online, JP Morgan Chase Bank has informed Cardi that Tasha and her company, Kibi Studios, only have $1,083 and 20 cents held in accounts at this time. Now, it's all it's also rumors out there that Miss Tasha K has fled over to um Africa. Girl, I don't know what the is true. So part of me don't really blame that lady because <laughs> if you're trying to get that much money from me, bro, I am going to be underground. Okay, somewhere overseas. I'm going to be underground, still getting it in, still getting, you know, whatever coin that I can, but I'm gonna be under the ground, honey. Right. But at the same time, it's sad because you had all that mouth then to say all this stuff that you said about this woman. You even wanted to go as to far as so far as to wipe your ass with the cease and the and the desist letter 
only to go to court and then hyping people up like everything is going well on your end, only for you to turn around and lose it. And then now you want to sit up here and run? Don't run. Come back. Where's the energy? Where's the energy you had before? Pay that, pay that lady her money. Pay her her coin, right? So once this information came out, Tasha K decided to do a video and she pretty much told the people, listen, <clears throat> I ain't got it. <laughs> As she's been saying for months now. But what she also said is that she added a few cents or something like that. Um, or she overdrawn her, she uh overdrawn her account. So basically, with the one thousand and about eighty four dollars or whatever she has, she's going to give it away to different people. So she wants them to do a video, hashtag her or whatever. And girl, I'm not even gonna get a deets because y'all participate, y'all wanna do, it, y'all find it. But anyway, the the woman is basically taking the one thousand dollars and she's just gonna end up giving it away. That's the plan. You know, when she's laughing, making a mockery of it, of it, and I'm like, well, what's going to happen once they finally do catch up with you? What's going to happen with that? I said, well, she probably took that money and put it in her baby name, okay? Probably took that, rerouted everything to go to her husband or go to her mama or a whole other family member. But I'm wondering, at what point does Cardi B's team, and I don't even know if they'll go this far, this is just me wondering, um, what at what point does Cardi B team goes and have the conversation with YouTube to intercept any checks that are expected to go over to her. If it's in her name, business name, whatever it is, is her likeness over there. We know it's clear that she's making the money from the channel. So is Cardi going to go as far as to, you know, intercept her YouTube payments? I don't wish that on nobody, but at the same time, it's like, you kind of brought this on yourself. So it's like, how much sympathy should one have? Um, <clears throat> so I'm just wondering, you know, how far is Cardi willing to go to get her three plus million dollars from Miss Tasha K? And how far is Tasha K going to go to avoid from paying Miss Cardi B that three uh three plus million dollars that she owes this woman? All right. Y'all let me know if y'all believe that Tasha is really in Africa, like she say. I don't believe Tasha only got a thousand dollars to her name. That what I don't believe. I also don't believe that that's all she has for Kiwi Studios. None of that. Okay. Understand it. Um I think she left a little money over there just to say she got a little something over there. But I believe that lady got way more money than a thousand dollars. You feel what I'm saying? But she also probably got other debt. I don't know if she went to school or what other loans she may have acquired over the years or whatever. But good, it's not looking good. OK. And I just hope that, you know, you keep up the act as long as you can before they end up catching you. And then you're going to have to buckle down and really, you know, pay this lady her money. I don't know. I kind of wonder how that worked out for Wesley Snipes. Because I feel like Wesley Snipes, he owed the IRS, though. Didn't he owe the IRS and then fled to overseas or something like that? Um, I don't know how that how that worked. But I feel like that was him. If it wasn't him, it was another actor. But anyway, y'all hop in the comments. Let me know y'all thoughts about this whole spectacle of a situation. 